Hello there. Very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us here on Engage With Success. Uh, this is called M7, My Mind Matters. And your mind really does matter. You think about your experience of life, everything you experience in life, whether it's dramatic or calm, or relaxing, it's pressure, it's difficult, whatever it may be. And we could be talking about career. We could be talking about relationships. We could be talking about holidays. It's all a matter of what you're thinking. And if you think that's overly dramatic, then stay with us tonight and listen to the information I've got to share, because what I share really can be life changing. And that's the point of doing these broadcasts. Now, I am a coach. I help people in all sorts of areas. I help them with confidence. I help them with relationships. I help them with finances. I help them with careers. Ultimately, I call myself a success and fulfillment coach because those two things go hand in hand. You don't want to be successful and not feel fulfilled. And some people do. Some people, I bet you know people that can make a ton of money and are still miserable. Think about movie stars. Think about musicians. I'm not saying all of them, but certainly there are some famous examples of musicians and movie actors that have taken their lives because they still weren't happy. So you want fulfillment too. But of course, the other side of that coin is you're extremely happy, but you haven't got the life that you want. You haven't got any money. And so, hey, if you're happy, you win. In my books, it's not about the money. If you're happy, you win. But what if you could have it all? What if you could have both? And that's really what all of these broadcasts are about, because all of this is created in your mind. And again, if you think that's over the top, if you think that's too much and stay with us, because as the weeks go by, more and more and more of this will be understandable. Now, a few things I'd like to share with you. First of all, if you do want to share any comments, feel free to do that. Um, if you'd like to ask any questions, feel free to do that. You can do that via chat. I can see you've already got people jumping on right now. Good to see you again. Thanks for being here. Appreciate your company. Um, so do feel free to pop questions into chat. But in all honesty, throughout the presentation, there's a good chance that I'll miss some of the comments. I've done it before, but I will look at all of them at the end. Uh, you could also send me messages on Facebook or Instagram. Even better, I'm a, I'm a big fan, probably because of my age, I'm a big fan of email. And so it's info at engagewithsuccess.com. Or you can go to the com contact page on engagewithsuccess.com. Now, for those of you that are new to tonight, if this is all new to you, you have no idea what it's all about, then I'll just give you a little overview and then give you an understanding of what you can expect over the coming hour. It's about 60 minutes long, this entire presentation. So first of all, my mind matters. Every week, and this is every Monday at seven, that's why I put the M7 there, Every week, we'll be talking about the mind. I'll be sharing information on how the mind works, how you can make the mind work better for you. But most importantly, we'll be doing exercises. Now, I encourage you every week, I do the same thing. I put it all in context at the very beginning. I want you to do these every day because the more you practice, the more likely you are to make these habitual. There's that term, Practice makes perfect. I prefer to say practice makes permanent. And that's because of my neuro change training. So neuro be, meaning the brain. And if you want to change the way you think, change the brain, change the thoughts, we won't actually change the brain, but we change the way it works. And there is a term for that because this is a reality. It's not a dream. It's not a could be, maybe, might be. Uh, this is called neuroplasticity. And you're welcome to jump online and read all about it. Now, today's focus is going to be about imagination and visualization. And we will be doing exercises today. I break down every 60 minute session into three parts. First of all, we start with breathing. And even in the breathing, we will do some visualization. And just the moment you close your eyes, you start to think differently. Just the moment you close your eyes. In fact, somebody asked me why I put a Buddha behind me. Am I a Buddhist? No, I'm not. But I love the Buddha and the image of Buddha, Buddha, not Buddha, a Buddha, because if you notice, have a look, you see he's got his eyes closed. And really, that's what tonight is all about, closing your eyes and going deep within yourself. It's about your inner world. And once you can control your inner world, 
then you're going to be far more effective in your outer world. Now, there's lots of reasons to do this. We will break it down. Let me do the three segments. First of all, breathing. We'll do some breathing exercises. And the exercises are important. Now, bear in mind, this is a live. And the reason I chose this platform, doesn't matter whether you're on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or YouTube, I cannot see you. Yes, I can see your messages as they're coming in. I can see we've got several more coming in right now. I am well. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Maureen, for jumping in. Appreciate your message. Karen, good to see you again as well. So I can see the messages that are coming in. Again, I may not look at all of them as we make our way through the presentation. But ultimately, we'll do breathing exercises. And this is important because I want you to experience the difference. This isn't a load of blah, blah, blah. I want you to experience the difference it can make. Now, the breathing might work really well for you. After the breathing, we'll move on to mindfulness. That's a term that many people will have heard of. It's become very popular the last 10, 15 years. However, I want you to experience it. Because if you experience it, if you experience a difference, if you experience a feeling of calmness, if we can reduce the stress in your life, and it, that may not be the reasons why you're here. Maybe you want to focus more. Maybe you need to be more driven. Maybe you need to be motivated. There are so many reasons but the mindfulness can help you with all of this. And then finally, we're going to go into meditation. And the meditation is probably the deepest dive that we'll do tonight. Breathing, quite simple and easy to understand. Mindfulness, if you've never done it before, don't panic. I'll explain everything to you and I'll take you on the journey. And I'm confident that you'll enjoy it. And then finally, meditation. Again, meditation, lots of people have got a preconception in their mind already of what it means. You might think we're going to cross our legs, put our hands together, go, um, um, I promise you there won't be any of that. You will just sit comfortably and then I'll take you on a guided meditation. Now, the biggest thing that I hear is that people believe they're meant to stop thinking. Wrong! You will never stop thinking. I promise you, never stop thinking. We're designed to think. We think all day long. We're swimming in a sea of thought. The big difference is we've got the opportunity to calm that thought down. We could slow it down. But most importantly, we get to detach ourselves from it. So thoughts can come and thoughts can go, but we don't have to be affected by them. We can understand that it's just the thought. How many times have you told yourself, and maybe you didn't even become aware of it today, but how many times have you told yourself that you're stupid or you're not good at something? or you'll never get what you want in life. Most people do. Most people have a 15 minute loop that goes over and over and over again inside their mind. So what I'll be helping you with over the coming weeks is the opportunity to step aside, to start to recognize your thoughts and recognition is the first step. And then by using these exercises, you can begin to regulate your thoughts and determine which ones are useful, which ones are unuseful, and get rid of the thoughts that you don't want. This is the important thing. And you can certainly take the opportunity to back away from the thoughts that are stopping you from getting where you want to go. Sometimes we call that putting on the brakes. Sometimes people talk about getting in your own way. Sometimes you hear about um, the chimp on the shoulder. Maybe you've heard about the inner critic roadblocks. There are all sorts of ways of saying this, but ultimately it all comes down, down to the same thing. And that's our thoughts and how they affect us. And I want to give you the opportunity to be in charge of your thoughts and to start to regulate them and become powerful. Now, let me give you some of the reasons. We've already talked about becoming calmer and reducing stress. By doing that, you can immediately begin to feel happier. You might finish tonight's session and go away from it feeling great. You might be in a place of bliss. Worst case scenario, you can feel calmer. And that will be nice, right? And this is free of charge. This is something you can do week in and week out and make it a habit. If you can get here every week, great. And if you do miss it, jump onto the podcast and catch it up later. And even better, watch the podcast. We'll take a segment of the podcast each time and watch that. Maybe you just want to focus on the breathing. Maybe one week you want to focus on the mindfulness. Maybe another week you want to focus on the meditation. So lots of reasons you can do that. Now, by being calmer and taking deep breaths, and that will be our first exercise, you could find you've got more energy. 
think about it when you go to the gym and we get into a respiratory exercise cardiovascular and the lungs are working the heart's working and what we're going to do tonight could certainly help to strengthen the heart and strengthen the lungs but that then releases the happy hormones and as they're making their way around the body that can make you feel more energetic and that can make you feel happier so lots and lots of things going on here you might find that when you're breathing and i'll get you a little later put your hand on your chest and your hand on your belly to feel the breath where it's coming in and where it's going out and that in turn can give you the opportunity to improve your posture now i've already shared this about three weeks ago but breathing is one of the natural ways in which we detox Obviously, when we go to the bathroom, that's another big way. If we're working out and we're sweating, that's another big way. But detoxification through breathing is estimated at being around 70%, 70, 70%. And then the other things, sweat, going to number two, going to number one, they make up the other 30%. So there's a lot going on just by breathing. And then that in turn, by getting this breath running through the body, that can be helping the lymphatic system. And it can start to, to strengthen it, to make it feel stronger, which I think you'll agree will be fantastic. And then finally, it can help you to regulate your weight, which might be important for you. It could help you to improve your digestion. So if those are things that you're struggling with, then these breathing exercises, the mindfulness and the meditation could be helpful for you as well. And then the last one, which I'm always a little reluctant to mention but many schools of thought believe that it can really help you with your pain so i'm certainly going to say that it could help reduce the pain i'm not going to go as far as saying it could fix you but there are people out there that and, I, and i'm not, not talking nutters i'm not talking people that are just completely and utterly ethereal we're talking doctors check out dr joe Dispenza. if you if you're suffering if you're in pain if you've got problems with the body, if you're very ill, check out Dr. Joe Dispenza, D-I-S-P-E-N-Z-A. And you'll find that his work is really helping people with recovery. So again, just the breathing can be helpful. It certainly reduce stress. It can certainly make you feel calmer and happier. And it may even well relieve pain. But I'm not going to go as far as saying it will fix you because I don't want to make any hollow promises. Okay, tonight we're going to be looking at imagination and visualization, a little bit of information running across the screen right now. This is very, very important because when we close our eyes, we have two very powerful tools that we can use. So let's first of all talk about imagination. Some people will even call imagination a gift from God. Because think about it, everything in our world was once an idea. Einstein got an incredible quote about imagination. Look it up, Einstein and imagination and see the quote. It's phenomenal. So we close our eyes and we can literally become anything. We could dream, we could pretend in our mind's eye that we're flying, that we're well again, that we've been able to re remove the illness from the body. We've got the opportunity to dream about our future. And this is the visualization now, taking the imagination and starting to see what it is that we would like in our lives. And hey, for some people, that might be a bigger house. That might be a new car. It could be health. It could be children. This technology, visualization technology, and again, I always encourage you to do some homework afterwards. This technology is now proven to work. Sports people particularly use it. You'll be able to read about basketball players taking the ball and they visualize time and time again, getting the ball into the hoop. Uh, you can read about runners crossing the finishing line in their mind's eye, using this technology to imagine it and to rehearse the steps necessary to get the goals that they want. Now, don't want you to misunderstand. I'm not saying if you close your eyes and dream about something, it will happen. I'm a big fan of creating an action plan. I'm a big fan of taking action steps, but I'm also a big fan of having inspired action. And that's why I think when we close our eyes and we start to think about what it is we would like to achieve and become and who we would like to be and the life we would like to live, that's when we've got the opportunity to really use our imagination and visualization 
to inspire ourselves and get to where it is that we want to go. So now that you know what tonight's all about, let's go into our, our first step. Again, I cannot see you. So feel very comfortable closing your eyes. Feel very comfortable making some noise when you're breathing. And what, what I mean by that is feel comfortable doing that because we can't hear you either. I'm just going to check the chat before we go any further. Uh, let me just say a few more shout outs. Aaron, thank you for your company. <laughs> I hear you. You still love being on bid. Elizabeth, uh, buonasera. Thanks for being here as well. Uh, we've got people on from Romania as well and from the US of A. Thank you for your company. I do appreciate it. It's great to have you there. Uh, again, I'm going to continue our journey. So let's close our eyes and do the first exercise. I'll put a little bit of music on in the background. First thing I want you to do, this is just breathing exercises. Breathe in through the nose. Hold on to it for a moment and let it out through the mouth. In through the nose, hold on to it for a moment and out through the mouth. Now I'm going to start to add in a count. We're going to start with three. So in for one, two, three. Hold on to it for one, two, three. And let it out for one, two, three. Now let's go for four. In for four. One, two, three, four. Hold on to it for one, two, three, four. And let it out for one, two, three, four. And now let's go for five. In through the nose. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on to it for one, two, three, four, five, and let it out for one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now just breathe at your own pace, keeping your eyes closed, breathing as you want. You can continue at that pace, holding it and letting it out. Just be very natural. Now I want you to put one of your hands on your chest, and as you're breathing in, Notice where the breath's going. Is the breath going into your chest? Are you pumping your chest up? Or is it going past your chest and into your belly? Lower your hand now to your belly and see if you can notice a difference. Taking that deep breath in. Is it your belly that's expanding or is it your chest? Now, ideally, it will be your chest. And if it's not, then just start to practice that right now. Fill your belly up with the air. Feel it pushing down on the diaphragm. Nice full belly of air. Hold on to it for a few moments and then let it out through the mouth. And I'll add one more thing into this. Keeping your hand on your belly, feeling it go up and down with the breath. Now, when you draw that air in, I want you to imagine, because we're using imagination and visualization tonight, imagine that air coming in as being beautifully clean, white breath coming in. And then as you let it out, imagine it's a gray color, a murky color. It's a dirty color because it's all the dirt coming out. It's the toxins being released from your body. Just start to imagine what that looks like. Breathing in through the nose, feeling your belly expand, and now seeing that dirty, detoxed air coming out. Now, once you've got your eyes closed, last thing, put a smile on your face. Feel the muscles in the face moving. Over 40 muscles move when you smile. And feel a positive energy now pulsing down through your body. Just imagine what that looks like as it goes down from the smile, your cheeks into the throat, down into the body. And feel just that little bit happier. Feel really comfortable. Okay, take one final deep breath in through the nose for one, two, 
three, four, five. Hold on to it for one, two, three, four, five. And now let it out through the mouth for one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's our first exercise. And again, that's just breathing. Now, the breathing is really important. I think it's critical because this is something you can do any time that you're feeling overwhelmed, any time that you're feeling stressed, any time you're feeling wound up, somebody's getting to you, something's getting to you. So take a moment to breathe. I would encourage you to close your eyes. And if you can, catch yourself thinking. If you can, try to work out what it is that's making you angry. Now, if it's a person and they've said something, it might be quite easy for you to identify it. Sometimes it's just a person being in the room and you can't stand them. You can't stick them. They get to you. But try to work out why. Close the eyes. Take those deep breaths and ask yourself why. Because they might be teaching you a lesson. There might be something they do that helps you to improve what you do. There may not be. I don't know the scenario. I don't know what's going on. I don't know the history. But sometimes we can see that What's going on in somebody else is reflected in ourselves, or we can see that we're short-tempered, or we get an opportunity to realize that we get angry too easily. There are lots of benefits by taking a moment just to close your eyes and think about that scenario, what happened. Now, if it's impossible to do it at the time because they're there and you think, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't just say, stop talking to me and close my eyes, okay? Then maybe when you get home or the first opportunity you get, to sit in the car, to sit in the loo, close the door and take the opportunity, take some deep breaths and just think about the scenario. Another great way to get around that is if you have to wait till you get home at the end of every night, take a moment to journal. Journaling can be very, very powerful. And before you journal, close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and just write. Now, the key with journaling is to just write. You almost want it to be an unconscious flow coming out of you. Don't think mm, what happened today and then try to write something nice, something clever. Don't analyze it. Literally just get the words down on paper. That's very, very, very important. And then you could either say, right, I'm going to set a timer. I'm just going to write for one minute or three minutes or five minutes. Or you could take the opportunity to say, I'm going to fill out a page every night. And just write down some of the experiences you've had throughout your day. And that can be really, really insightful. OK, I'm going to go now on to the mindfulness. And I'm keen to do this tonight because the mindfulness is really going to give us a much deeper opportunity to understand imagination and visualization. Because we're going to close our eyes and I'm going to ask you to do certain things. We're going to do what's called a body scan. I'm going to ask you to imagine a ball of light in front of your eyes, a little sun spinning around. And this is imagination. Now, during mindfulness, there's a very good chance that your mind might wander. Typical, normal, not unusual. So please don't panic. Don't be thinking, ah, I can't do this. I'm useless at this. This is a practice. It's called a practice. Mindfulness, meditation are both practices. And the reason for that is we have to practice them. So take the opportunity to close your eyes and do your best. If you find your mind wanders and you're wondering about when's this going to finish or what have I got for dinner or I can taste the garlic bread I had before I did this or oh, I've got to get up and do work tomorrow morning. Or, there's so much, there's so much that could be going on in our minds. Take the opportunity to allow those thoughts to run off and just bring them back, bring them back and focus on whatever I'm talking about. Focus on what is whatever it is that I'm asking you to imagine or to visualize. OK, but don't beat yourself up. Don't get upset with it. Don't be saying this stuff doesn't work. This may be your very first attempt. Maybe you've been doing it for several weeks. Maybe you've been with me now. I think this is my sixth session. I know it's my sixth session. Um, perhaps you are months into this or even years into this and you still struggle. Practice is key. Remember, practice makes permanent. I'm just going to explain why. Why did I use that term? Because in neuroscience, and again, I like to use facts. But in the mind, we have electrical stimulation all day long. 
and these go along neural pathways. And the more we use a neural pathway, the stronger it becomes, the thicker it gets. So that becomes a habit. And that's why you can do things without even thinking. That's why you might go off and get into a temper without even thinking about it because it's become a habit. You've got a trigger that you're used to responding to. Now, if you want to change that, it's very difficult to reduce it. I wouldn't even encourage you to try to do that. What's a lot easier is to create new habits and practice them again and again and again and again. And that's really what this is all about. So at least once a week, join me on Mondays at seven and practice. And if you want to watch the podcast during the week and do it again and again and again, great. And I'm just thinking now, there's a new idea that's come to me, inspiration. I'm thinking that maybe I should chop it up and give you the opportunity just to do the breathing. Or you could click on a different place and just do the mindfulness. Or you could click on the other place and just do the meditation. But maybe that's more work for me. And so maybe it's best just to leave the hour and you can click through it. I bet you can. I'm going to check that afterwards. So maybe I can put markers on the tape and you can see exactly where you want to jump to. So anything to make everything better for you. Okay, let's take an opportunity to do some mindfulness. Closing the eyes, please. We start again with the breathing. In through the nose, holding on to it and letting out through the mouth. <clears throat> Take a nice deep breath in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold on to it for one, two, three, four. And let it out for one, two, three, four. Let's go for the five. Nice deep breath in through the nose for one, two, three, four, five. Hold on to it for one, two, three, four five and now let it out for one two three four five okay now i want you to use your imagination imagine there's a ball a tiny little ball about the size of a tennis ball but it's a sun a miniature sun and whilst you look at it imagine now the flames coming off of it it is a sunshine you can feel use the visualization visualization is not just visual good visualization will include feelings will include emotions will include the senses not only can you see but you'll be able to hear you'll be able to smell so we'll take you through this as we make our way through the mindfulness so imagine just for a moment the ball in front of you, about the size of a tennis ball, and it's spinning around. It's orbiting. Loads of flames coming off of it. And you can feel the heat. It's four, five, six inches in front of you. Now I want you to imagine that the heat coming off of that starts to create two little pools of light just above your eyes, the wells of your eyes. And that light now creates a pool. And it's getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And that warm light is a loving light. And is it bright, but it's soothing. It's healing. It's relaxing. It's calming. Most importantly, it's loving. You just feel your eyes really relaxing. Your eyes almost like getting a massage feeling the relaxation as those pools of light get deeper and deeper and deeper now i want you to take that light up over the bridge of the nose up onto the forehead and imagine that light massaging your forehead don't do it physically just use your imagination and feel the light massaging your forehead Take it out to the sides. Imagine it massaging the temples. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So relaxing. You're loving it. Now take that light up on the top of the head now. And again, imagine it massaging you. The rays of light like fingers on your head on your scalp, massaging, helping to really take a deep, 
rest, deep relaxation. Continuing the journey now up over the back of the head, coming down onto the back of the neck. And now you're getting so good at this. It's almost like somebody's hand, the heat coming down onto the neck. You can feel it massaging, resting, relaxing. Oh, that's fantastic. That is so fantastic. A little smile on your face because it feels so good. Now take that heat, take that light, Take that soothing energy onto the shoulders, left and right. And imagine those beams of light again, like fingers massaging the shoulders. It's almost like somebody standing behind you, massaging the shoulders. And at this point, you do not have a care in the world. At this point, you just feel great. Let the woes of the day, the frustrations of the day disappear. Let them melt away. And just focus on the now. Right here, right now, everything is fine. And let's make our way down the right arm. So starting from the right shoulder, that energy now making its way over the biceps and the triceps. And almost imagine itself going around and around and around the arm working its way down towards the elbow, spinning around, enveloping your right arm. Now it gets to the elbow. If you have any aches or pains or creaks in the elbow, just imagine those being released. Gently release, letting them go. And now take that energy down over the forearm, towards the wrist. Imagine that energy going now into the wrist spinning around the wrist and again if that's a place where you have aches or pains maybe it's arthritis rheumatism anything of that nature move your hand around if you need to and just allow the energy to release any negativity any aches any pains that you may have and now finally bring that energy bring that light into the palm of the hand and feel it coming out through the thumb the finger, the second finger, the third finger, and finally, the little finger. Feeling that energy make its way out through the hand. And now you've got five beams of light coming out through the right hand. Keeping that energy there in the right side, let's go to our left shoulder and do the same again. Down from the shoulder over the biceps and the triceps. Spinning its way around. Massaging helping you to rest and relax, reduce any strain that you may have, any tension, any stress being reduced, being relieved, being released. Into the elbow, from the elbow into the forearm, and now into the wrist, and from the wrist finally into the hand, into the palm of the hand, and feel that energy now pulsing out through the thumb. Then the first, second, third, and fourth finger, the little pinky. And now both arms are filled with energy. Beams of light, 10 beams of light coming out of the right and left hand. Now let's take that energy down over the chest. Feel it coming onto your chest. Again, visualize this, imagine this, working its way down over your chest area, helping you to rest, relax, feel fantastic. Really see the energy, see the flame, see the light. Is it white? Is it golden? But see it. Feel the heat as it makes its way down now onto your belly. And down towards the hips. Now let's take that light from the back of the neck onto our back. And we want to go down the vertebra, across the shoulders, down over the shoulder blades. But let's go vertebra by vertebra, one by one by one. This is a very important part of the, uh, the body. This is your spine and in the spine, you've got the entire nerve system making its way down through that column. So really feel it resting you, relaxing you, releasing any aches or pains or tiredness that you might have. Maybe feel your posture lifting up. 
as the energy comes down now through the back, vertebra by vertebra, almost like climbing down a ladder, step by step by step. Into the tailbone. And now imagine that light swirling around the hips. Taking that energy now from the hips into the right leg. At the top of the right leg, feel that light going into the buttock. And now coming down over those giant muscles in the top of your leg. Down towards the knee. The knee, another area where we often get aches and pains. Creakiness. If that's the case for you, rheumatism, arthritis, whatever it may be. Just imagine it being released. See it in your mind's eye. Being released. See the pain coming away. And now finally down through that right leg, the calf, the shins, down towards the ankle. Into the ankle, rotating around the ankle, bringing that light down into the heel, into the ball of the foot, forward into the arch of the foot. Now going into the big toe and a beam of light now coming out through that big toe. Then the first, second, third, and finally the fourth, the little toe. Five beams of light coming out of that right leg, that right foot. Let's go to the top of our left leg. See the energy, feel the energy, feel the heat as it makes its way now down through the leg. Spinning around the leg, the front of the leg, the back of the leg. Rotating, 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 coming down to the knee. Any aches or pains or difficulties you may have. Being massaged, being soothed, releasing any tension. Allow it to be released. And just imagine seeing it just coming away, disappearing into the ether. From the knee now into the shins. Down towards the ankle. Spinning around the ankle into the heel of the foot, the ball of the foot, the arch of the foot coming down forward, finally out through the big toe, the second, the third, the fourth, all four toes now filled with light, beams of light coming out through those toes. Now just for a moment, enjoy your entire body being wrapped in this energy. Feel the heat, feel the warmth, feel the love. It's almost like sitting in a hot bath. And now as you sit there, just imagine that heat coming from the toes, like it is a pool of water getting higher and higher and higher, coming up to the knees, that pool of water coming up and up and up now, up over the belly, up over the chest and coming up to your neck. Let's just keep it there at the neck. So it's like sitting in a deep bath or a jacuzzi, a hot tub. And that feels magnificent. Smile. It feels good. It costs nothing. Use your imagination to feel the heat. Use your imagination to feel the water, that warm water that your body's just resting in, relaxing in. Feel the tension coming out from your spine. Feel the tension being released from your entire body. That is relaxing. Now, whilst we complete this, I want you to allow that level of water to start going back down. Just imagine it, you can see it, you can feel it going lower and lower and lower. Back down over the belly, down now across the top of the legs, over the knees, coming down towards the ankles until finally that all drains away and it's just got that warm light around your body. So let's bring that up now through the body bringing the light back in through your left foot, bring it into the foot, into the flatness of the foot, the arch of the foot, the ball of the foot, up into the ankle, drawing it up from the ankle now, over the shins, the calves, into the knee, from the knee, across the top of the legs, to your buttocks, the very top of your legs coming up now towards the hips. Let's go to the right foot, drawing that light in, Bring it in through the toes, into the flat, the base of the foot, the arch of the foot, the heel of the foot, up into the ankle. Oh boy, that feels good. 
from the ankle now up over the shins the calves into the knee from the knee drawing it up through over the top and the back of the legs towards your buttocks and now finally up towards the hips and even though you've withdrawn the light you were drawn the energy from your legs you can still feel that residual energy there you can feel how good that is bringing it now from the hips let's go up the spine first vertebra by vertebra up over that spine making its way up the ladder feeling that energy up 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 past your organs past the lungs making its way up now towards the shoulder blades and up to the neck now let's go to the front to the belly bringing that light up over the belly feeling your breathing as you continue to bring that energy up now over the chest and around the neck let's draw the light in now from the left hand in through the fingers into the palm into the wrist up through the forearm into the elbow up past the left biceps and triceps into the left shoulder up to the neck and now from the right arm, bringing that light in through all the fingers, into the palm of the hand, into the wrist, into the forearm, bringing that light up to the elbow, from the elbow now of the biceps and triceps up into the shoulder, and now finally bring it into the neck. And feel the light swirling around your neck. Very calming, very loving, very relaxing. And as it makes its way up the neck, it now goes over the back of the neck, over the back of the head, to the top of the head, coming down over the front now, onto your brow, over the eyebrows, until the light now just sits in the two wells above your eyes. And now slowly all of that energy starts to go back to that ball of sunshine, about the size of a tennis ball, and you can see all the energy going back. And oh boy, do you feel refreshed? Do you feel re-energized? And that ball of light is yours at any time you need it. Any time you need it, you can bring that back. And now that ball of energy swirling around goes off and up into the ether and disappears. It felt so good. And you can bring it back whenever you need to. So let's take a moment right now, take our final breaths before we open our eyes in through the nose for one, two, three, hold on to it for one, two, three, and let it out for one, two, three. Just continue breathing at your own pace. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Okay, that should have been pretty good. That I, I, I went a little deeper there than I usually do on the mindfulness, and that's because we're working on the imagination. That's because we're working on visualization. So hopefully at that point, you've really had the opportunity to see the ball of light in your mind's eye, to feel that heat making its way around your body. You may have even felt the relaxation. So the more you practice this, the easier it gets to feel it. Now, bear in mind, I'm guiding you through this, so that should make it a little easier. And your mind shouldn't have run around too much. But if it did, if you got distracted, could have been a car passing, could have been people in another room, could be television in a different room. Don't worry. You're not doing it wrong. You're not in trouble. Just bring your mind back as soon as you get the opportunity. Stay focused and continue your journey. So I just want to talk a little bit about visualization and imagination and the power of them because then we're going to take our deepest dive on meditation and that really is a combination of the breathing i will, may not do the full body scan if i do it'll be very very quick and then we're going to take a much deeper journey because tonight i really want to work on your imagination and visualization so visualization if you have got an idea of what it is that you would like in your life let's go for a career dream dream job you know and it, it, it may be something completely different it may well be um a house it may well be a car it might be a holiday it might be a partner what i want you to do in fact let's do it right now close your eyes just for a moment and imagine what that dream job or that 
dream person that dream relationship may or may not look like now sometimes when we start to think this way we don't get the opportunity or we don't focus on what it is we do want we focus a great deal on what we don't want and that is very weakening that's not where you want to focus you want to focus on what you do want so if you write out goals you're going to write out what it is that you would like i'm a big fan of doing both so if you can visualize what it is you want that dream job think about is it inside or outside think about the people that you might be working with or will you be working alone do you prefer that do you get to work remotely from home or do you have to go to an office? Do you have to go to another location? Think about the remuneration. How much money do you want to get paid? What would make you happy? Again, think about what you do want. Don't start saying to yourself, oh, that, that's not possible. I know what I want to do, but I couldn't get paid the money I want. I know what I want to do, but I'd never be able to get that job. Focus on what you do want. And this is where the power lies. This is where the power is. You need to focus on what it is that you do want. And the more realistic you can make this, the more powerful it becomes. So start to see details. So if you said you're working in an office, what's the office like? Is it a giant space? Is it in the heart of a city? Is it a modern building? Or is it just a small room with phones? really start to pad that out and you could take it a step further and bring the visualization into reality by starting to cut pictures out of magazines how would you dress what would the office look like if it's modern what would that be like to you if it's old-fashioned traditional what would that be like to you if it's outside are you using the equipment what would that look like to so start to fill in the details start to fill in this grid the visualization now, don't just see the images, then start to imagine what those people would be saying to you. How friendly are they? Are you going out with each other afterwards? Is there a good social life here? And think about the noises. Let's say it's an office. It may not be, but the environment you've chosen. What can you hear? What sort of sounds are there? And that's the type of thing that we're going to be doing in our meditation right now. Okay, let's move into it. We've got about 10 minutes remaining. So nice deep breath in through the nose. Hold on to it for a moment and let it out. Again, feel free to make noise if that's helpful for you. In through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and out through the mouth okay now very quickly imagine that ball of light once again in front of your eyes and i want you to run it around your body just like i did over the eyes up over the top of the head down across the back of the neck onto the shoulders down through your right arm all the way through to the fingers, beams of light coming out the right hand. Now down through the left shoulder, into the right, the left arm, into the wrist and coming out through the hand. Now down across the chest, over your belly, down to the waist. And then down across your back, step by step by step, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, right down to the tailbone. And feel the light whizzing around your waistline, your hips, then onto your buttocks and bring it down through the right leg, down through the right knee, down into the ankle, into the foot, then five beams of light coming out of the toes. Same on the left, from the top of the leg, down over those giant muscles, down towards the knees, down now, across the leg, into the ankle, into the foot, through the foot, and then five beams of light coming out through the toes. Now, whilst you're sitting there, just enjoy the relaxation. And I want you to focus on any sounds that you can hear nearby. 
What can you hear nearby? What's the loudest thing? Is it people next door? Is it television? Are their phones ringing? Is the oven on? What can you hear? Is the radiator creaking? And now I want you to think about the most distant sound you can hear. What can you hear outside? Can you hear cars? Can you hear traffic? Could you hear a plane in the sky, a helicopter? What can you hear? Now I want you to bring that imagination back into the room. And with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine how big is the room you're in? I don't know where you are. Is it your bedroom, your lounge, you're in an office, the study? How big is that room? Just imagine how big it is. Try to feel it, even though you've got your eyes closed. Can you almost feel the walls to your left, to your right, in front of you, behind you? And what about the ceiling? How far is it to the ceiling? Now I want you to take your imagination even further and imagine enveloping your entire flat or the building you're in, the house you're in. Just imagine, almost like putting your arms around your entire home. Just using your imagination. And if there's anyone in that home, just send love to them for a moment. Whether you feel like it or not, just send love to them for a moment. Maybe you've got kids in the house. Maybe your partner's in the house. Maybe you're at work and it's colleagues. Just take a moment to wish them the best. Think about the positive things about them. It's easy to think about the negative. Sometimes people drive you crazy. Think about the good things. Find something good about them. Now I want you to take that thought, that imagination outside your home, beyond your garden, and start to think of your entire neighborhood. Maybe you live in a block. Maybe you live in a crescent. Maybe it's a cul-de-sac. Maybe it's several streets. Just try to imagine now taking your energy further and further afield, taking it out to a much larger area beyond your home. And now take that energy and envelop your entire village or town, or if it need be, a city. Just feel your energy expanding. Feel yourself expanding, going further and further afield. I'm wishing that entire area, the village, the town, the city, wishing everyone in it all the best. And now take your energy even further and imagine it's an entire county or state, depending on where you live. Just imagine enveloping that entire area. Maybe you can see some of the famous sites. Maybe you can imagine a body of water or a statue, a specific building. And now take your energy further afield and envelop your entire country, wherever it is that you live. Could be Italy, Romania, people here tonight from America, of course the United Kingdom. Doesn't matter where you're from, your country it can be the country you're living in, it can be your country of origin. You decide, just take your energy and feel it enveloping the entire country. Just imagine it in your mind's eye. Can you see the shape of the country? Can you see your energy like beams of light enveloping that area? Now take it beyond that and imagine now hugging your entire continent. Perhaps you're in Europe, perhaps you're in the Americas, maybe you're in Asia, maybe in Australia. Just take that energy across the entire continent. And now finally, 
Imagine your energy pushing out even further and enveloping the entire planet. Almost like you've got your arms around the entire planet. And as you envelop it in that energy, that same energy that you enjoyed, that same energy, just feel for a moment as if you're united with everything. You're one with everyone. Just imagine that for a moment. Now bring that energy back, allowing the planet to be released. Bring your energy now back to your continent, back to your country, back to your state, back to your village, town or city, back to your neighborhood, back to your home, back into the room. Now fill that room up, that room that you're in, fill it with light, fill it with all that energy. You just had enough energy to envelop the entire planet. So now just fill that room up wherever you are, fill it with love. Feel it. It's so bright now. You can feel, you can see the light coming through your eyelids. The room is brighter. The room is warmer. The room is filled with love. Now for our last exercise, keeping the eyes closed. Last part of our imagination, the last part of our visualization tonight. I want you to imagine a place, make it up a choice, a place of your choice that you would find really relaxing. Maybe it's somewhere you would go on holiday. Maybe it's somewhere you dream of going. And that could be a beach. If it is a beach, is it rocks or is it sand? Is it hot and tropical? Is it somewhere you'd love to visit and never been? Is it somewhere you've been and would love to go again? Is it home? Or is it a forest? Maybe with a waterfall. Maybe with a giant body of water that you can jump in and swim around. Is it a tropical forest? Is it hot? Is it just warm? Is it wet? Or perhaps you're going to a mountaintop. The sky is so blue. So wherever you are, I want you to lie down. I don't mean physically, just in your imagination, in your mind's eye, lie down. So if you're at the beach, can you either feel the sand or the stones beneath you? If you're in a meadow or the forest, can you feel the grass or the earth beneath you? And if you're in the mountains, have you found a little area of grass or are you lying on the rocks? What does it feel like? Just imagine for a moment, what does it feel like? Can you feel it? Is it warm? Is it cold? Is it uncomfortable? Is it solid? Is it soft? And wherever you are, just start to feel comfortable. You're really glad you're there. And now, whilst you've still got your eyes closed and you're lying down, imagine the sounds that you can hear. If you're at the beach, can you hear the water lapping up against the shore? If you're in the meadow, is there a body of water? Is there a waterfall? Is there a stream? If you're in the mountains, can you hear the wind blowing? It doesn't have to be any of these. Just pay attention to the sounds you can hear. Maybe you can hear some wildlife. If you're at the beach, maybe it's seagulls. If you're at the top of a mountain, perhaps it's an eagle, a bird of prey. If you're in a forest, maybe it's some beautiful exotic bird. Maybe you can hear parrots squawking in the background. Use your imagination. Now see that bird. See the bird. Is it colorful or is it browns and grays? Is it large? Is it small? Are its claws different colors? What color is its beak? Now, whilst you watch that bird hovering around in the sky, notice the sky. How blue is the sky? Is it just the sky or is it filled with clouds? Are the clouds white or are they gray? Are they full of rain? 
And if there's no clouds, can you see the sun? Is it bright? Is it beautiful? Is it hot? Can you feel the rays of light coming down on you? Now for the final imagination, the final visualization, just imagine that that bird comes landing down beside you. It's being inquisitive. It wants to know what you're doing there. And it's not aggressive. It's just inquisitive. It's just curious to why you're there. And it comes a little bit closer and a little bit closer and a little bit closer. And it feels so relaxed around you because you are giving off such a positive energy, such a beautiful, relaxed vibe. It's not afraid of you at all. It's seen enough. So it takes off and away it goes. And whilst you're lying there alone, just for a moment, put a little smile in your face and know that this is somewhere you can come anytime you need to. This is your place of meditation. This is your private place of relaxation. This is your little opportunity to be rested and relaxed and no one else has to know where you go. You can get here as quickly as you want. You might think of this place when you're lying in bed ready to go to sleep. You might be dreaming of it because it is somewhere you want to go for a holiday. Somewhere you've always wanted to visit. Somewhere you want to work. Somewhere you want to live. Just start to use your imagination and make that more colourful. Start to see the details. Every time you go back, notice more. Amplify the sounds. Amplify the colours. Okay, let's take some final breaths now. Nice deep breath in through the nose for one, two, three. Hold on to it for one, two, three and let it out for one, two, three. Last one, in through the nose for one, two, three, four. Hold on to it for one, two, three, four, and let it out for one, two, three, four. Now take the opportunity to breathe at your own pace and open your eyes as and when you're ready. Okay. Hey, thank you for being here tonight. I hope you found that really enjoyable and relaxing and useful. I can see that I've just run over the hour. I apologize profusely. I try to stay within the hour. Uh, again, I'd just like to remind you that you can reach out for me. If you'd like a strategy call, if you're interested in some coaching, would like to know more, you can go to my website engagewithsuccess.com. There's a contact page there. You can also find the blog there. There's a newsletter available, which comes out weekly. That's lots of motivation and inspiration in there. And you can also get hold of me. So we could do a strategy call. Uh, if you know a group, a body, a um, organization, a company that perhaps would really enjoy a 45 minute motivational speech, then again, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to go visit them and talk to them about how life works, how this works, how to take advantage of it, and how to become empowered. Generally, when I do those presentations, I then go into a 90-day um, challenge, giving them the opportunity to see if they can use some of the tools that I've set them and to see if they've got the opportunity to really improve their lives. That's really what this is all about, not just our well-being, not just our health, but also our wealth, the money, the manifestations, all the things that we would like in life. So this is Paul Beck saying thank you for joining me tonight for My Mind Matters. Again, you can see the M7 there. The M7 is for Mondays at 7. And I would love to see you again. I'd love to have your company any Monday. Thank you and see you again soon.